हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दिस लेक्चर वीडियो आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्लूजन एंड एक्सक्लूजन एंड ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्लूजन एंड एक्सक्लूजन आई बी स्टार्टिंग विद स्टेटमेंट फॉर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंक्लूजन एंड एक्सक्लूजन टू स्टेट दिस आई बी टेकिंग ए फाइनेट सेट एस एंड द टू सबसेट्स ए बी और द फाइनेट सेट एस The statement is, if S is a finite set, then the number of elements in S is called the order, or size, or the cardinality of S. And this order of S is denoted by the symbol mod of S. I will be calling it as cardinality of S. So now I'll be taking two subsets of S, that is A and B. Then the order of A union B is given by the formula cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of a plus cardinality of b minus cardinality of a intersection b it means that to find the order of the a union b i am going to include all the elements of a and all the elements of b and i am excluding uh, the elements which is common in both a and b so now we'll uh, we'll see how to find the common element um, i mean that is intersection Uh, we will see how to find that so to define this i will be taking two three sets that is a b c so now the common area between b and c will be called as an b intersection c the common area between uh, a and c will be called as an a intersection c the common area between a and b will be called as an a intersection b and finally the common area between all the a b c sets will be called as an a intersection b intersection c So now I'll be explain the statement for principle of inclusion and exclusion for n number of set. Because in the previous one I explained it for only for two subsets. So now I'll be considering n number of subset. For that n number of subsets, I'll be defining the statement of principle of inclusion and exclusion. So let S be a finite set and a one comma a two etc etc a n be a subset of S. Then the principle of inclusion and exclusion for a one comma a two etc etc a n states that the cardinality of a one union a two union a three and so on union a n will be equal to summation cardinality of a i minus summation cardinality of a i intersection a j plus summation cardinality of a i intersection a j intersection a k. Plus so on minus one power n minus one cardinality of a one intersection a two and so on intersection a n. So this is a formula for uh, to uh, find the principle of inclusion and exclusion for n number of sets. So the generalization of the principle of inclusion and exclusion it is given by the formula n complement is equal to s not minus s one plus s two. Minus s3 plus so on plus minus 1 power n into sn. To find the value of s not, it is nothing but uh, order of the finite set s. It is given by more uh, cardinality of s. It s1 is given by summation cardinality of a i. S2 is given by summation cardinality of a i intersection a j. S3 is given by summation. Cardinality of a i intersection a j intersection a k and so on. So now we'll discuss some problems uh, based on the principle of inclusion and exclusion. The problem is out of thirty students in a hostel, fifteen students study history, eight students study economics, six students study geography. It is known that three students study all these subjects. So, uh, so now we have to show that. Seven or more students study none of the this subject. Okay. The first thing is we have to find the finite set S, finite set S, and then later on we have to find the uh, so define the events A one, A two, A three, A four, and so on. So now let S denote the set of all the students in a hostel. Okay. The hostel contain thirty students here. Then it means that the order of S is given by Three zero. I mean, the cardinality of S will be equal to three zero, right? Now, I'll be defining three events here because Y means 
like here a1 denotes the students who is studying history a2 defines the students who is studying economics a3 defines the students who is studying geography so i'll be taking three events here so three events means the value of s1 i can find it now so s1 is given by what summation cardinality of ai that is order of a1 plus order of a2 plus order of a3 it is given by 15 plus 8 plus 6 it will be equal to 29 or uh, we can find s3 also i mean the students who is studying all the, all the three subjects it is given by cardinality of a1 into section a2 into section a3 it will be equal to 3 here so now the number of students who do not study any of these subjects is given by the formula cardinality of a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection a3 complement it is given by order of s minus summation cardinality of ai plus summation cardinality of ai intersection aj minus summation cardinality of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 it is nothing but what we can write s0 or cardinality of s minus s1 plus s2 minus s3 so already we got the value of mod of uh, cardinality of s s1 as well as s3 i am going to incorporate those values here so i'll be getting what 30 minus 29 minus s2 minus 3 will be equal to s2 minus 2 i can write it right yeah so now i need to find the value of s2 as i told that s2 is nothing but summation cardinality of ai intersection aj always we have to remember that the value a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 is a subset of ai intersection aj for i comma j is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 so therefore actually what we got it uh, this ai intersection aj are, are in three numbers here because i'll be having a1 intersection a2 a1 intersection a3 and a2 intersection a3 so it will be in three numbers so like what we can conclude that s2 will be equal to summation cardinality of ai intersection aj is greater than or equal to three times of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 and this value is given by three here right so i'll be getting the value of s2 is equal to nine so this nine i'll be incorporating here so i'll get the cardinality of a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection a3 complement is greater than or equal to 9 minus 2 that will be equal to 7 so it means that the uh, the seven students who is uh, who is not studying any of the three subjects that is history economics and geography problem number two how many integers between 1 and 300 inclusive so inclusive in the sense we have to include both the number 1 as well as 300 here uh, which are divisible by at least 1 of 5 6 8 and the divisible by none of 5 6 8 so to find this so the first thing is order we have to find so since s contains the numbers from 1 to 300 so the order of s will be 300 here so same thing again we have to define the events first so I'll be taking three events like A1, A2, A3 be the subset of the uh, set S and, uh, the, uh, and, uh, and this A1, A2, A3 denotes that this 300 is divisible by 5, 6, 8 respectively. Okay. So now I want to find that the number of elements of S uh, which are divisible by at least 1 of 5, 6, 8 is given by cardinality of A1 union A2 union A3. So it is given by the formula cardinality of a1 plus cardinality of a2 plus cardinality of a3 minus uh, cardinality of a1 intersection a2 plus cardinality of a1 intersection a3 plus cardinality of a2 intersection a3 plus cardinality of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 so now we have to find the orders for a1 a2 a3 first uh, later on we have to find the order of a1 intersection a2 a1 intersection a3 a2 intersection a3 and finally we have to find the order of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 so to find the order of a1 the formula will be like uh, uh, this 300 is going to divisible by 5 so i'll be getting how much here i'll be getting 60 like the order of a1 will be equal to 60 next the value of a2 is given by 300 divided by 6 so i'll be getting the order of a2 will be equal to 50 here similarly the order of a3 is given by 300 by 8 so approximately i can take it as 37 
Now I am going to find the order of A1 intersection A2. So, uh, so it means that this, this 300 must be divisible by both 5 and 6. So by multiplying this 5 and 6, I will be getting 30 here. So 30 divided by sorry 300 divided by 30 will be equal to 10 I will get. Similarly, the order of A1 intersection A3 will be equal to what? 5 into 8 that is 40. So 300 by 40 will be approximately equal to 7 here. And last one, uh, A2 intersection A3. 6 into 8, so 300 divisible by 6 into 8 will be equal to approximately 12 we can write it. So now last one, the order of A1 intersection A2 intersection A3 will be equal to 300 divided by 5 into 6 into 8. It will be approximately equal to 2. So now I will be incorporating all these values in the previous formula. So I will get uh, cardinality of A1 union A2 union A3 will be equal to 60 plus 50 plus 37 minus of 10 plus 7 plus 2 plus 2 will be equal to 120. So it means that uh, so out of 300 the 120 elements are divisible by at least 1 of 5, 6, 8. So next I am going to find that the, the number of elements of S uh, that are not divisible by 5, 6, 8. So I mean we have to find the complement here. To find the complement the formula is the order of A1 complement intersection A2 complement intersection A3 complement will be equal to cardinality of S minus cardinality of A1 union A2 union A3. It will be equal to how much? I will be replacing the order of S is equal to 300 and this is given by 120. So I will be having 180. So it means that the 180 elements of S are not divisible by 5, 6 as well as 8. Okay, in the next lecture video, uh, we will discuss few more problems on uh, the principle of inclusion and exclusion. Thank you.